everyone livid. Megan cursed for causing 45 minute delay over outrageous request for her hair and makeup. How much lower can Harry and Meghan go? Meghan Markle and Prince Harry joined Prince William and Kate Middleton for the first time in their public walkabout outside Windsor Castle on Saturday. However, the foursome's reunion was reportedly delayed due to the Duchess's request. The group was expected to arrive at 4.30pm, but were late and showed up at 5.15pm. Royal expert Daisy McAndrew spoke on Wednesday that it was actually Markle who stalled the group. Markle reportedly requested that she needed to have her hair and makeup done before she stepped out on the long walk at Windsor to view the floral tributes and meet the crowd. McAndrew added that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex needed time to change into formal morning attire, suggesting that Prince William's invite was at the last minute. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge were expected to arrive at 4.30pm, Despite the tardiness, royal fans were happy when they arrived with Prince Harry and Markle at 5.15pm local time. The foursome stayed with the royal's fans for 40 minutes. The outlet noted that despite the united front, the tension was thick in the air. Some fans felt that Middleton barely acknowledged her sister-in-law during the reunion. The outlet noted that the new Princess of Wales stared icily at Markle before they waved to the crowd and separated. William, Prince of Wales, and Catherine, Princess of Wales, were reunited with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex again for Queen Elizabeth II's lying in state. During the procession of the Queen's coffin to Westminster Hall, photographers had their cameras zoomed in on the windows of the cars occupied by royalty. Queen Consort Camilla and Kate Middleton rode together, with Meghan Markle and Prince Edward's wife, Sophie Countess of Wessex, following in a separate vehicle. Meanwhile, Prince William and Prince Harry walked behind their grandmother's coffin with other members of the royal family, including their father, King Charles III, Prince Edward, Prince Andrew and Princess Anne. Royal rankings forced the Duchess of Sussex to take a separate vehicle from Kate Middleton in the procession transporting Queen Elizabeth II's coffin from Buckingham Palace to Westminster Hall. They stood silently inside the Great Hall, eyes cast down in sorrow, each lost in personal memories of their monarch and much-loved matriarch. They listened out for the clatter of hooves and the crunch of approaching footsteps, wondering how their husbands were coping on their harrowing march of sorrow. It was a reminder of the cherished place they all had in the Queen's heart, and a signal that after all the upset and division of Megxit, the royals are still prepared to welcome the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, as in the Queen's words, much loved members of my family. Of course it will take time and effort for Princes William and Harry to properly heal their rift. However, following the service, some critics began calling out Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for holding hands while leaving the service. The royal family leave our beloved Queen in Westminster Hall with grace and dignity, except for Harry and Meghan, who just have to hold hands like two lovesick teenagers. They really get on my nerves. Another added, they can't keep their hands to their sides for two seconds to mourn the Queen, as if Meghan would care to anyway, though unsurprising as they never failed to disrespect the protocol and the Queen. Prince Harry and Markle were criticised for wearing black to visit the 9-11 Museum in New York City, despite that being a common practice, while observers praised Middleton for wearing a bright pink coat during her previous trip. A source wrote that Middleton was fighting off the gloomy weather in her attire. Insiders Michaelia Friel previously reported that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are often scrutinised for doing the same things as their royal counterparts, largely due to Markle's race. According to royal expert Kristen Mainzer, the press may be focused on Markle because she doesn't resemble the rest of the aristocracy. 